Good morning, everyone. It's a Thursday, and after a fairly rainy Wednesday night, especially if you live west of town, west of the river, basically west of I-95, it was a very damp Thursday, Wednesday evening. Thursday will start off drier, and yet we'll still see some more of this. This is how Live 5 Doppler radars looked all the way up to about midnight. You can see a broad area of general moderate rain moving through parts of Flagler and St. John's and Clay County. Even some pretty good downpours there in northwest some parts of Jacksonville, but that's fading away, and it's not related to this. Cindy, again, 700 miles away, but yet at the same time, moving on shore, that'll be a big shift. Once Cindy's on shore, she should slowly weaken, and that'll bring some very heavy rainfall to eastern Texas, Louisiana, and even additional rainfall to parts of Louisiana and Mississippi. So we'll watch out for those folks, but you can see over the next seven days, our big story becomes this. Look at the heat. It builds big. Today's high, 92 degrees for an afternoon high. So too tomorrow and Sunday. We get a little bit of a cool down next week. We'll see how much that really does develop. But feel like temperatures the next four days, 100 to 110 mid-afternoon hours. Take it easy, folks. Again, the tropical moisture in the atmosphere really adding to the sunny skies that we are expecting to see as we head towards the weekend.